and welcome back to Tip of the Week. This week we're going to talk about inspection or access panels on your aircraft. Inspection panels or access openings in our metal aircraft are usually specified by the aircraft designer, but quite often we, as the builders, realize there are other areas we need to get to on a regular basis for inspection and maintenance. Sometimes we identify these locations while building, and other times it's only after the aircraft is finished when we realize that life would be easier if we had a panel to get to some important location. Having access to a mechanical adjustment or electrical connection for repair or maintenance is just a good reason to install a new access panel. Cutting a hole can weaken a structure, so be sure to check with the designer if there is questions of compromising the strength of a skin by creating a hole. Lost strength is often easily replaced by including a reinforcement ring around the opening. This ring also provides a solid platform for the nut plates that make removal of the cover simple and quick. Basically, there are two steps creating the opening, and then fabricating an appropriate cover. In order to obtain a nice appearance, both the opening and the cover plate must have nice, accurate edges. The topic of cutting sheet metal has been covered in numerous previous tips. Tip 92, we demonstrated nibbling tools for inside cuts. Tip 46, we demonstrated the Ulfa knife making scoring cuts. And tip 18, we showed the power Dremel tool making cuts in the sheet metal. Please review these tips. They are all listed in the tip archive at Home Built Help, as we will not repeat that information again here. The simplest way to make a cover when not using a ring is shown here. This oval-shaped cover is made a bit larger than the desired opening in the skin. Holes are drilled along the edge, then nut plates are installed into these holes. The cover is then inserted inside the slightly smaller access hole. The oval shape allows this to fit inside. A circular shape would not fit. Matching holes in the skin allow screws to be used to hold the cover to the inside lip of the skin. With optional dimpling, countersunk screws could be used for a flush screw appearance. While this is not a flush cover, it is still very acceptable in terms of appearance. Here is an example of a round cover. The cover is larger than the opening and sits above the skin, nut plates mounted directly to the skin. One option for an elegant access installation is to purchase a pre-made kit that will save loads of time during fabrication and installation. For example, a company called My Kit Airplane specializes in ready-to-install solutions for access and inspection panels in many sizes and shapes. We will use one of them for our, our demonstration. We purchased this one for our project, so this is not a paid endorsement. You judge for yourself if this is a good fit for your project. This 5-inch square access panel from my kit airplane comes in two parts, the cover plate and the reinforcement ring. Nut plates are already installed, rivets countersunk in the ring, and the removable cover attaches with screws also countersunk. This kit will provide a truly flush setup so that the cover remains even with the surrounding skin. This is another benefit of using a ring as it provides a surface for the cover plate to remain flush with the skin. The nut plate installation remains independent of the skin also. The ring is riveted to your skin using whatever rivet system you want, countersunk or conventional. So the ring is behind your skin and your skin is even with the cover plate. 
So let's take a look at how to install this. It'll make it much more easier to understand. By removing the cover plate, I am simply going to trace around the cover plate and that is the size opening that we are going to make. Note also that I marked the location of each of the four holes. The reason we marked the corner holes is that we definitely want to radius this opening. We don't want sharp corners. So each of these corners represents the center of a half inch drill hole that we're going to make. Next we're going to use a unit bit to drill up all of the holes at the corners. So on your skin you want to drill up each of the holes all the way to the line. And now we can go ahead and cut the line carefully. I'm going to include the line so that there's enough room for the plate to fit on there. It's our hole that we just cut out. Now, if we take our cover, we can slide it in. And it fits very nicely and the holes then get riveted around the corner to hold the plate in, the ring. Now let's look at an installation on a real airplane wing. Before cutting the hole, we place the assembly upside down in its final location and use the ring as a template to drill all of the mounting holes for the ring. Because of the highly accurate CNC precision cut, the holes will match up if the ring is in any position during final installation. We will then remove the ring to make the square cut. To make the cut we are going to use this multi-purpose oscillating tool available at your local builder supply store. See tip number 74 for more information on this tool. And finally, do not overlook this multi-purpose oscillating tool as another great method for making straight, smooth cuts in your aircraft metal skin. As always, practice first on a scrap sheet of metal. So customize and make it easy to work on your aircraft by installing that inspection panel that you've always wanted.